Hey guys, um, Pokemon Joe's and Anime here with a quick update. I went to PopCon yesterday and I did have a lot of fun. I did get some items and I did get some Pokemon card packs. Well, I'll be opening up in the same video like I did for uh, Anime Crossroads. How I got a couple of card packs and I opened them and I ended up pulling a full art card, which I still have up there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I realized I recorded everything wrong. It was all vertical like this, and I meant for it to be long ways. Cause that's better YouTuber video. But here, um, first thing I will show you guys is this glass cup that I have up here. It's glass right here has a fairy tale symbol, um, engraved into its well, glass. Which to me it was cool when I saw it. It was only fifteen dollars. I'm like, yeah, that's not bad at all. I'll go ahead and show you guys the Pokemon card packs. Everything's scattered right now. And most of it is on my bed, luckily. Yeah, I'll show you guys all this. So I got one Evolutions and one more Faring Skies. I got one Sun and Moon. Hopefully I actually pull something from this this time. Then I got two Pokemon Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. So I'll be opening those up for, uh, towards the end of the video. And if I pull anything, I'll make sure to get a good close-up of it and all that. So I just gotta stay tuned for that. One thing real quick here is a big shout out to a new friend of mine and an old friend of mine that I've known for a while. This one right here is a new friend. Her name was Emma, I believe. If I remember correctly. Sorry if I forgot your name already. But they had a booth there, and I didn't even know. But this is her YouTuber account right here. GamerGirl21501. And, and her YouTube and Facebook had the same one as her one up there. But her Instagram is Frasia Luna. Uh, sorry, Frasia underscore Luna 99. Make sure you check out their channels in the description below. I will make sure to put links and all that so you can go say hi. Even if you just say hi through social media, that'll work perfectly fine. Let them know that I sent you guys. So, with my friend Brandon, he is someone that I've known for a couple of years now. I didn't know that he had a booth at all. He told me and my boyfriend on the last day of school, but I did not hear what he said. So, sadly. <laughs> um, here, er everything is the same for him. It's Brandon, Brandon Games and all his YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook account information. I'll put all the links in the description below once I'm able to find them. But this is his card right here. Let me get this to focus. Please focus for me. Take note, well. What it says is Brandon Games All, and then it doesn't want to focus at all, does it? I don't think so. Well, that hashtag you guys might be able to see the very bottom one says hashtag crew crew, and I'm one of his crew. We're wanting to do a video someday, which yeah, and this is the other side of his card right here. He's a gamer as well. Make sure to check out both of their channels, either through the cards right here that I showed you guys, or through um, the uh, description below, which I'll make sure to post those links once I get, get everything edited on the computer. So, yeah. He was selling t-shirts. They both were. I almost bought one of her shirts. He was like, hey, what about my shirt? I'm like, oh my god, you had a shirt? No, because he had it under the table. <laughs> but yeah, he was selling t-shirts. Make sure to buy one from him. That was his only customer yesterday. So make sure you run over and buy one from him today or tomorrow while he's there. But it, uh, the only sizes that I could get was a large, which I hope fits my boyfriend. <laughs> so I got the t-shirt for him. And they also had little wristbands. There's one for Brandon right here. I believe this is one for Emma. I think. I think this one right here was from Emma. It says keep on gaming. There's one that I just randomly picked out. Lucky Lukester. I'm guessing that was another YouTuber in our... Um, area, but yeah. Then over here, I have a handful of other things. This right here is a play that I was in, which I highly recommend checking out if you live around here or check out their website. Which you can take a screenshot of this if you guys want to. Can hold it for a few seconds here. And here's the other side, which is just the website again. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. The one I did was a mix of, of almost a Star Trek. <laughs> it was a mix of, um, God, I had a dirty spoon in here, but that's okay. 
I'll put the dishwasher in a little bit here. But, um, it was the Star Wars and Doctor Who. It was, like, Doctor Whom and... I forgot what it was, I'm sorry. But it was just a lot of fun. I recommend checking it out. I recommend checking them out. And then also all the stuff that I bought is other stuff. So this right here is something else I got that I could not resist not getting. It's a fairy tale fan art kind of thing. It's of Lucy and Happy and Natsu. But I just love the artwork of it. And I was telling him, hey, I'm a huge fairy tale fan. Do you have any fairy tale stuff? And he said, I only have one. We have a handful of it left because it's from a few years ago. Like, I'll take it. <laughs> And this right here is something I'm going to try in a little while here. It's still all packaged up. I haven't opened it at all. This is supposed to be miso soup, okay, I think. But it's ramen. <laughs> this is kind of like what they have in Naruto. So I'll make sure to either make a video of me trying it out or just try it. Because I know I'm going to try it out of the way. That's why I got it. <laughs> but, yep, I do recommend checking it out online or... She goes to the convention today, and I also bought two bottles of... Ugh, sorry, God, I'm still super tired from all this, but... I got two bottles of ramen. One, this is just the original flavoring, is what he told me. But it just has Dragon Ball Z piccolo on it. So, yeah. Then I got the melon flavor. I love the melon flavor. And I also got a fairy tale necklace right here for $7, I think. To me, it was kind of cool. It's not like a normal chain. It's like an actual rope. I could pull on it to increase how... Oh, I, I increased it a little bit, I think. Check one more time. There we go. Now it's smaller. Um, or it's not. Okay, I tried. Can't do it one-handed, but yeah, I got that. I think that that's actually all. If I find anything else, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Hello. Yeah, I'm still really tired from everything.